Hello, and welcome to this special presentation, part five of our currency and bond series. And today we're going to be covering the Venezuelan Boulevard and why we believe it is an optimal and ideal investment. Now, before we get started, please do like, subscribe, and share the channel as it helps us continue to grow and get this message across to other constituents. And please understand the information we're sharing is not financial advice, nor is it constituted as that as I'm not advisor. It's just good, solid, cogent information that will help you to make your own determination and your own decisions in this arena. Many of you have been asking us to cover the Venezuelan Boulevard invariably in almost every podcast that we do. So we felt it was an important and timely event to do this video and give the Boulevard the coverage that so many of you have asked. So in today's video, we're going to discuss some of the top reasons why we believe investing in the Venezuelan Boulevard currency is a good idea. Number one, they are the fourth largest, or I should say, we're the fourth largest economy in the world. Venezuela has the world's largest oil reserves, abundant nature reserves, private ports and airports, and it's a great overall business opportunity for foreign investors. Number two, they have a strong and stable thriving workforce who is very eager and enthusiastic to return the country back to its original prominence, especially native Venezuelans who have been forced to stay in this country while they have seen the level of communism and impoverishment that they've faced. They very much want to see their country thrive. So they are eagerly dedicated to making their country come back to its original form. Uh, again, the Boulevard was previously, or Venezuela was previously the fourth largest economy in the world. And with historical replication, we believe they will come back to that prominence. Uh, number two, uh, or actually really it's number three, uh, one of South America's largest producers of steel, aluminum, and cement, which makes them an ideal provider for construction and uh, building resources for reestablishing uh, city and building provinces. Uh, number four, Venezuela is on deck to join the BRICS, as many of you know right now, which currently is supported by China, Russia, and the IMF is heavily encouraging them to do so because they understand the aforementioned items of what Venezuela has to offer in terms of its power, resources, and natural oil reserves. Number five, albeit that Venezuela is a communist country and an impoverished situation due to hyperinflation, their currency has gone a massive devaluation. All we have to do is look at what has happened with Argentina they dropped recently in November by 50% and Lebanon by 90%, but you can see what President Trump is doing behind the scenes with Javier Malay to reestablish that country's dominance. He too is working behind the scenes to oust Nicolas Maduro, who is a communist and who has dragged the country down. There's nowhere to go for this country but up, and they are going to be returning back to prosperity. If many of you recall back in 2019, President Trump's State of the Union address actually five years to the date this year, uh, in February, he said that he was an avid proponent of Juan Guaido to oust Nicolas Maduro, who is a patriot and a conservative Christian who very much like uh, Bukele in uh, El Salvador and much like Malay in Argentina, wants to help his country return to their old glory and prominence. So President Trump is integrally involved along with the BRICS nations to help this country come back. Uh, it's a cheap currency to get right now, and that's the whole point of this, is you want to get these wonderful countries' uh, currencies while they're in a depressed state before they go up. The time to buy is not after, but before and spotting an opportunity. And the Boulevard has a massive amount of resources besides oil. They also have uh, silver and gold and platinum palladium, just like uh, Zimbabwe and many other countries. They have quite a bit to offer. They're a country that really is under the radar right now. So this is an, this is an ideal time uh, if you're inclined to be stacking Boulevard and getting it while it's so relatively inexpensive, because when it does go back one to one, it stands to gain considerably and all of its investors likewise. So in a nutshell, those are the reasons we believe are the strongest cases to be made for why one should invest in the Venezuelan Boulevard. Of course, do your own research, discernment, and prayer before doing so. That's all we have for today. Thanks for listening. We appreciate your time, and we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care.